All right, Shalom, Akim. This is your brother, Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone that rule well, and greetings and blessings to all you sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk your lives doing so. Okay, this is another edition of Verse of the Week. Okay, and um, as you can see here, uh, the monotone is, is being blessed. You know, like it says here, I am blessed, but you know, Lord willing, you know, um, because, um, that's, Hey, that's, Hey, that's what we're doing this thing for, man. You know, Lord willing, the most high blesses us to, uh, escape the, the, all uh, onslaught of, of, uh, holy hell that's going to be placed on this, uh, going to be put on this place, you know? And, um, the most high gave us the blueprint on what to do and, um, how to do it. And, um, who to learn from and who to teach, you know. So um, all we have to do is endure, en endure in the blueprint until the end, and we will be blessed, okay? Because right now we're not blessed, you know. Um, but hey, if we're part of the elect, we are. But uh, the full manifestation of it isn't showing now, okay? Uh, that's why I say uh, uh, hopefully we'll be blessed. Because uh, when you when you look into the word, um, well, I, I went on the, um, you know etymology online etym online okay and um uh they used to have the uh you know the break the, the, the uh intricate breakdown on the word blessed but you know they've uh you know esau he's <laughs> he's being he's being himself which is the goddamn devil you know so he's trying to uh you know to uh shake things up so to speak but it doesn't matter the truth uh is gonna come out and uh the liquor gonna be saved and the wicked will be destroyed, period, point blank. Okay, but I, I looked it up in the et Etymon line, and uh, it says, uh, blessed, supremely happy, also consecrated, holy. Okay, past part uh, participle, participle, uh, adject adjective from bless, reverse of ironic sense of cursed, damned. Um, yeah, so that's basically it, and then I looked it up here. Um, you know, just dictionary.com. It says, blessed, made holy, consecrated. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, but um, uh, like it says, extremely happy. And the only way we're going to be extremely happy is when America is, is destroyed and we're set up in the kingdom of heaven under the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and um, ruling and, 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 and um, basically receiving all the promises that uh, the Heavenly Father promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, and that's what's going to make us happy. That hasn't happened yet, so we're not happy. So that would not entail that we're blessed or in the state of being blessed right now. Okay, we have the true understanding of the scriptures. That's a blessing within itself. But as far as the uh, uh, the the full magnitude of the word, we're not there yet. Okay, and that's why we have to endure until the end. Cause hey, soon man, you know, uh, all Yahweh Shai's enemies will be under his feet. Okay, we'll be joint. We'll be joint heirs uh, with him. You know, uh, joint. Uh, join with uh, King David, <laughs> you know, the 12, hey, and it, it, you know, Isaiah 4 and 1, and you know, chariots, and that, you know, everything, hey, the list goes on and on, okay, and that that will make us blessed. But if you also look in, you know, like I say, uh, they used to have on the Etim online that, uh, you know, blessed basically means to be bowed down to, okay, and nobody's bowing down to us yet, so we, you can say that we're not blessed, okay, but hey, if we endure, we will be. And that's that's a that's a fact, okay? Because the scriptures say so, okay. And um, with that, I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna jump into the verse. Um, this is Saint John one and twelve. It says, "Blessed is the man that endureth temptation." Okay, let's look up that word temptation. Let's look up that word temptation. Is G thirty nine eighty six? Pirasmos, Pirasmos. <laughs> uh, it says an experiment, attempt, trial, proving, trial, proving the trial made of you by bodily conditions, since conditions served as to test the love of the Galatians towards Paul, and those Galatians were Israelites, of course. It says the trials of a of a man's fidelity, integrity, virtue, and constancy, an enticement to sin, temptation, whether arising from the desires. Or from the outward circumstances and internal temptation to sin, 
of the temptation by which the devil sought to divert Yahweh Shah, the Messiah, from his divine errand. Okay, so you, we get the point. Okay, so uh, it says, uh, "Blessed is the man that endureth temptation." Okay, and a that the script, like the scriptures say, that we're troubled on all sides. So that's that temptation, you know. But uh, it says, "Blessed is the man that endureth temptation." Okay, it says, "For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life." which the Lord have promised to them that love him, okay? So this is beautiful on all type of levels. You know, understanding that we're going to be tempted, you know? Why? Because we, hey, we signed up, um, you know, through the calling of Yahweh Shimei Arashai. You know, we answered that call and we signed up to, uh, to offer our bodies up as a living sacrifice and be tempted continually, you know? But if we endure it, uh, like the scripture said, we're going to be blessed, <laughs> you know? And that's what that's what it boils down to, man. You know, just just stick it out, just stick it out, and just know that another brother's going through much worse, okay? And it could be worse, you know. So just stick it out, cause the script, like the scripture says here, "Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him." See, Yahweh Shimei Shai has promised this to to those that endure it, okay, and to those that keep the commandments, cause what's love? It says to them that love him. How do we love him? We keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, to the best of our ability, because uh, truth be told, we cannot keep them perfectly. Contrary to other pseudo Israelite groups speaking or sayings, you know, which is the commandment of men. Same thing those wicked Pharisees and wicked Sadducees were preaching back uh, when Yahweh shall walk the earth. Okay? So, yeah, brothers, all we got to do is endure this temptation, you know, which is a light yoke, which is a light burden, according to the words of Yahweh Shai. I mean, Salakia, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so, hey, let's uh, let's batten down the hatches, buckle the seatbelts, and let's get ready for the ride. Because if we endure it until the end, we'll be blessed, we'll be bowed down to, we'll be extremely happy, wholly consecrated, meaning set apart and consecrated to the Lord. Okay, so, uh, Lord willing, that was edifying. That's the verse of the week. Uh, with that, I want to say, you have